Sarah, the superintendent says having the prayer sanctioned by the school system is against state law and school board policy. There's just no getting around it. But the new school system may still allow students to pray. One valedictorian tells me no matter what happens, she's sharing the word with her peers. A time-honored tradition seen in this 2010 video from Permian High. For the past few years, the senior classes voted whether or not to have prayer in graduation. But a letter from an attorney in Washington, D.C. pointed out even that is not constitutional. It's our right, our freedom of speech, just like anybody else, our First Amendment right to speak out for what we believe in. And the words invocation and benediction now erased. Two randomly selected students will lead an opening and closing. They could choose to lead fellow students in a prayer. What we're doing is trying to comply with exactly what state law and our board policy calls for. We're not eliminating it. We just cannot direct them to pray. The organization that sent the letter has sued school districts before. There are a lot of other school districts in our area that do this. Why send a letter to ECISD? We can only try to fix the constitutional violations we're aware of. And we became aware that this school district um, was doing a number of things that were clear violations of the Constitution and of the First Amendment. Meet Permian High valedictorian China Terrell. I was just like, why, why my class? Why does, why does this have to be the first year that this is even put into question? Even before the controversy, China's carefully crafted speech included a message from the Bible. I knew that a speech was involved and there's never been a question because I believe I know that I wouldn't be where I am now if it wasn't for God. A message she can't wait to share. A scripture I chose specifically was Ephesians 2.10, and it says specifically we are God's masterpiece, and it just says that we were created, we were sort of born again um, in Christ um, so that we can do the amazing things that he has planned for us. The Midland Independent School District tells us they still have prayer at their graduation ceremonies. There were rumors that ECISD school board would censor speeches by valedictorians. We are told that is not true, and they can say whatever they want. Live in studio, Matt Rist, CBS 7 News.